VOM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Hello everyone, it's another very beautiful day to you and thank you very much for taking time to join us on yet another package of the EOM Business Network. Oh yes, the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorogo Elkana Moare. Today on the program as always, our focus is a look at the Nigerian economy as we will be interfacing with select industry operators about their businesses, the operating environment, and other related issues. Also on the lineup is Let's Talk, and we will be showcasing Cosim Limited, Harmony Gardens and Estate Development Limited, and TWS Logistics and Services Limited. On Spot On, we shall bring you a delectable and insightful human and corporate management expert, Kemi Ojo, who is the head, Human Capital and Corporate Services, of Ventures Group, one of the frontline integrated energy and infrastructure services solutions providers in Africa. And on the face to face is an experienced insurance expert and industry captain, Razak Dada Abiodun, who is the managing director and chief executive officer of Lasako Assurance PLC, one of the foremost integrated insurance firms in Nigeria. It's a package you must see. Sit back as we bring you the details. Research reports have shown that any country that desires capacity and quality to enhance productivity for economic growth and development must give adequate attention to human capital. The Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce was established in 1977 and has remained the foremost bilateral chamber of commerce in Nigeria. MBCC focuses on fostering goodwill and increasing trade and investment opportunities between Nigeria and Britain. In furtherance of our commitment to building and expanding business opportunities for members and prospects. The trade mission is aimed at attracting foreign investment to Nigeria with a multi-sector focus, particularly non-oil products and services. The objectives of this mission are developing partnerships between the UK and Nigerian businesses. Two, promoting the ease of doing business in Nigeria to attract foreign investors. Three, engagement with Nigerians in the diaspora, business leaders in the UK, in trade related government officials, and UK based chambers of commerce. Four, providing a platform for business to business networking. Five, providing access to British companies and businessmen wishing to invest in Nigeria and those with interest in seeking representatives, joint venture partners in Nigeria. Timmy Tokbe Maegun is the founder, president and chief executive officer of Avila Group one of the fastest growing integrated natural skincare group of companies in Nigeria. In Avila, we have different products. We have different oils. We have carrot oil, and uh, we have coconut oil. We have almond oil. We have um, frankincense oil, sandalwood oil. We have different oils that people can use for their skin and air. Uh, we have rosemary oil. We have avocado oil, you know, avocado fruits, and most of this oil that, uh, let me say, whole, they are natural. They are not synthetic oils. They are not oils that, you know, you can be afraid that, okay, is it safe for this or is it not safe? They are pure natural oils. And we also have black soaps. Some of our customers, they may come up with discoloration like, okay, I'm having skin bone, I'm having um discoloration on my face the skin on my face is different from my leg or different skin issues 
but we have products that will solve this problem like now if you have dark knuckle we have a particular cream that will help you to clear your dark knuckle and our products they are not just organic you know people have been talking about organic 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 everywhere and um by the grace of god we do organic farming and so when you're talking about organic organic starts from the farm you can't call a product organic and that product will bleach your skin because the word organic is not even um, a bleaching or a you know the, the word has been misused in nigeria and a lot of people the market is filtered with um, with organic products and all that but the truth is in avila we are natural skincare brand because we produce natural products from natural ingredients if you want to produce organic aloe vera oil you have to use organic seed plant it organically cultivate it then the process must be organic that is no chemical no fertilizer or any synthetic ingredient in it Albert Enabulele, a fast-growing industry captain, is the hard-working and resourceful managing director and chief executive officer of TWS Logistics Services Limited. My background is IT, so I started from a place where we're doing computers, doing projects for in school and all of that like a business center that you call them these days. So my flair for logistics started in 1998 when I joined Seafood Products, the company that imports fish. I went there and changed their systems because they were deficient in things they were doing on Excel reporting. They had a software called Tally, you know, lots of backlogs and all of that. So in the logistics industry, you have to be online real time. Otherwise you will have old data and you will not be able to determine what it is that's happening. So that increased my flair for logistics, knowing that it's a dynamic place. It's a place where you have to bring in all you've got to ensure that things work as a service industry for a customer. People look at movement of items and people from point A to point B as simple. No, there are so many rules. That's why some people need to go get visas to travel to certain places. That's part of logistics. Knowing the right documents, the right people to meet, the right authorities, to respect and all of that. So that it's what brought about my flair for logistics. And I've been working in logistics now for the last 23 years and then you know, started mine in 2021. The vision of TWS is to be the preferred loyal partner for our client. We want to be that partner that solves the problems of the client so that they can face their core businesses and we are able to translate whatever imports or exports as it were that they are having into money for them because every company is created some companies are non-profit but companies that we deal with in import and export industry are profit oriented so we need to ensure that their cost is minimized to the barest minimum and we execute their jobs to ensure that they make good profit and that's our vision this is Avila group welcome to our world Avila group Call us on our premium numbers. Uka Chirima Glory, a beautiful, insightful, and resourceful finance and risk management expert, is a finance manager of Cosim Limited. Cosim Limited is an engineering company. We have a team of our experts, engineers, and consultants. So we render engineering services to different sectors, the oil and gas, the real estate, and the rest of the other sectors. So uh, but right now, the uh, focus, we're focusing on the gas sector. We build facilities for 
the gas industry. So we start from the beginning. So we don't sell the usual gas to users, the end users. So but we build those facilities. So down from the civil works, the mechanical works, the electrical and all the rest of it. I'm responsible for the financial planning of the organization, the risk management, uh, the procurement, the supply chain management of the uh, company, as well as the cash flow management and all the rest of the other responsibilities that has to do with the finance. So I'm the money we want, so I just have to make sure that the money, when it comes, is being managed properly. As a finance person, it, it has to do with a lot of economic challenges. So the inflection, the high cost of uh, materials and all the rest of it has been affecting the industry. So you get to buy an item today and tomorrow is a different price. So, and you know, as a finance person, it has been a major challenge because I have to go forth and back, have to look at the budget, have to, you know, sometimes you have to overshoot the budget. So, you know, going forth and back, having to, you know, talk to vendors, talk to people at the markets, be able to get better prices has been one of the challenges. But I'm trying as much as possible to navigate these challenges. So one of the uh, ways is ensure that, you know, we have um, some materials, some consumables, I call them the uh, engineering consumables that we use constantly. So in order to navigate that, we try as much as possible to buy in bulk all these consumables that, you know, when the prices changes in the markets, we'll be able to, you know, beat the inflation. TWS, oh yes, TWS Logistics Services Limited. TWS Logistics, call us on our premium numbers. Abdullahi Kabiru Mosadolua, a relatively young but insightful industry operator, is the executive director of Harmony Gardens and Estate Development Limited. Harmony Gardens and Estate Development is an organization in which, from the vision of the managing director, is to build comfortable and affordable housing for Nigerians and also people in the diaspora. So when people in the diaspora feel like, oh yeah, it's time to come back home, they can have the same vision they have from the diaspora in their own country as well. Because if we look at Nigeria up today, we are nearly having the same house structure and buildings. But if you look at the diaspora, there's always a unique view to it. Each time it changes, Harmony Garden provides that. From the vision of the funding director to the company itself, to the vision of the team members itself, what the team member gives to you, you'll be surprised even people on board are giving their own support and like, yes, this is what we are going to. We have the vision as well. Okay, I'm the executive director once again of Harmony Garden and Estate Development. So we are must here to assist and support all particular departments in Harmony Garden to maximize the best outputs for the week. Each department has their own schedule, their own weekly projection. Because as the managing director in this person, Honorable Dr. Howard Lightside in Southern Liberal, he is the managing director of about six to five different sister companies, in which one by this side is Harmony Garden and Estate Development. He is not available to be here at all times. So here I am is to assist and support all these activities, also all departments to support in his own role as well. At the same time, in due to my experience in a bit of it from the constructional view of Harmony Garden and, and Estate Development. So I'm able to assist and support both on the constructional aspect and the administrative aspect. Even though I'm still learning from other departments as well. Every day you learn, every day you know. So I support and assist on both sides. With him now on ground, I can be able to move my hands on one or two, both on the constructional and the administrative aspect of Harmony Garden and Estate Development. 
I joined the progress of Harmony View when they appointed on the foundation of this very office we are in right now. So I'm part of the team, a major part of the team that built this office to where it is right now. As you can see, if you, if I could give you a proper look in which we will send to you, you'll find the proper look of it. Harmony Gardens Project Harmony View. I know it sounds like my name, just having my name consciously, but like, yes, Steve. Harmony View Office, Harmony View Gatehouse is one of, is the one project I know, yeah. I put my heart and effort into it. And to currently where it is, I thank Almighty Allah for where we put him into right now. Because I know, yes, if anybody is to talk about our money view here, I'll stand and say, yes, I'm a major part of this league. But I can remember how the engineers were arguing, how we had to start arguing, facing this. Logical and not logical, yes, I'm part of it. The ammonia garden we are talking about is not new. We are not new to the market. We have been on ground for the past 11 years. We sold land. We perfect title for most of those who you call good in real estate. Come and invest in real estate. It's beautiful. Come and buy our land. We have the sea of all of this land. The title is here. So you rest assured, sleep, pay us your money, and we'll give you the good market. Automatically, I'm looking at minimum of 2,000 house here. So by next five years, you're talking about, you'll be seeing something in replicating of Paris here. So that's the pledge I'm giving to you. Welcome to the world of Lasako Assurance PLC. Lasako, call us now. Delectable Kemi Ojo, a human and corporate management expert, is the head of human capital and corporate services of Ventures Group, one of the frontline energy and infrastructure services solutions providers in Africa. Ventures Group comprises of a couple of other companies, it entails Ventures Energy, Ventures Power, and Ventures Milkerson, which basically our focus is providing power end to end. So we play in value chain process for power services in Nigeria. Not just power, but an infrastructural development focused company. I would always tell people that I'm like the foreman in the factory. <laughs> so my role in Fen Church um, practically just entails human capital engagement, ensuring that, you know, we take care of, I handle both the payroll, the employee shared services, training and engagement, human capital development, and the employee welfare, including contractors, because we have other contracting companies that offer services to us. So I do the liaison between, I mean, the organization and the third parties that relate with us. And in terms of um, corporate services, I sort of run the shop admin, operations, every other functional you need, the brand positioning. Sometimes because of my banking background, double, double up as the finance person. Though we have a financial person, a chartered accountant in house, and we also work with consultants on our finances aspect, but with my um, skills and experience, I mean, uh, coming from banking of about 16 and a half years, I also double up to check the books and look into the finances, yes. So that's basically day-to-day -day what I handle for it. I've just summarized it. Oh, it's been wonderful. It's been challenging at the same time because managing people, they say people is one of the most greatest resource of every organization. And it could be one of the most complex that you can ever have to handle because you know people come in their diversity come in their uniqueness you know coming and you need to ensure that everybody 
behaves well in line with the values in line with the philosophies of the organization directed towards achieving the day-to-day -day goals and the overall i mean strategic objective of the of the organization yeah so i think um what I, the roles i play there is we do a lot of team bonding and one of the philosophies that we preach in fen church is we, we offer an open door policy where everybody and it's always an all-inclusive engagement so we it, nobody is an island and we feel that everybody has a valued input Razak Dada Abiodu, an experienced insurance expert and industry captain, is the managing director and chief executive officer of Lasako Assurance PLC. Lasako Assurance started a little bit over 40 years ago. That was a creation of the Lagos State government, and it actually started as Lagos State Assurance Company and the acronym is LASACO. Some few years after creation by the then first executive governor of Lagos State, Alaj de Latif Jakonde, the company was uh, listed as a publicly quoted company and the acronym LASACO became LASACO Assurance GLC. Over four decades, standing strong and very reliable right from the beginning up to what we are offering today. As we speak today, LASACO has presence in the six uh, geopolitical zones with about 13 branches. We do both live and non-live business, and that's why we hold the composite license. We are committed to providing excellent service to be the first choice insurance company amongst others to provide values to all stakeholders and importantly, our clients, our customers, they are our strengths. The company has been quite stable. I, within the last over 40 years, I am the fifth managing director of LASACO. And that speaks to consistency, speaks to reliability, speaks to assurances. The board has also been stable. So if the management is stable, the board is stable. If over 42 years you have five managing directors running an organization, then it speaks volume. And uh, that is why there is so much continuity in the tradition. We have evolved over the years. We have moved from a parastarter or an agency of the government to a publicly quoted company. As we speak today, Nigerians as close to 59% ownership of LASACO and the, the state has considerable percentage in terms of shareholding. We are present in all areas of insurance and I can't remember 
any big ticket transaction that you will not see Lasaku either as a lead underwriter or as a co insurance Because the business of insurance is a business of collectivity. If you cannot do it alone, you collaborate with other underwriters to provide cover for certain risks. So that has been the story of uh, Lasaku. Lasaku is a, a related company. We are GCR A and uh, that speaks a lot. I don't know how many insurance companies are rated, but if you look at the numbers, the few that are rated, uh, and uh, we as an organization has evolved to that level. We are ISO certified in terms of operations and in terms of uh, technology. I can boldly say that even within the industry, you probably see about two or three companies that are also certified in terms of operations and in terms of technology. So we are where we want to be, but we are still striving to move from where we are to a better position. And we know we have the capacity to do that. As an organization, I will I will just speak to it. We are committed to providing excellent service using modern technology. You can look at the numbers and statistics. We have more fintechs in Nigeria. Providing them the opportunity to own a land. The two countries combined produce 33%. With that, would help you develop a coordinated approach. I critique myself a lot in whatever I do, which makes my last job to be the best I've done because subsequent jobs should be better than that. Well, well, and this is where we bring down the curtains on today's package of the EOM Business Network. Thank you very much for spending your valued time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to any of our other social portals or feedback that you can see on the screen. Sincere gratitude to you, our sponsors, for your continued interest and support. Always remember, with you and us, we are charms. Oh yes, I remain Olorogo Elkana Moari. Please, let's do this again, same time, same channel, next week. We'll trust you will join us.